Hi there, Steve here. So, it's the holiday season, the Christmas season. Uh, first of all, let me announce the names of the people who were the first to send me an email asking for my book. And uh, I signed these books today and put them in envelopes and they are on their way to Joanne Kelly in San Diego, Gustavo Arroyo in Puerto Rico, Zach Schwartz in Wake Forest, North Carolina, uh, Lukasz Pahuk, Pahutsk in Poland, uh, Rich Banbury in Western Australia, Kevin Odu in Belfast, UK, Alex Howard in Kent, UK, Trisha O'Connor in Auckland, New Zealand, Alexander Hardin in Izhevsk, Udmurt Republic in the Russian Federation and Matthew Donovan in Ontario, Canada. So those are the 10 people who received the book. Uh, I did individually uh, send an email to everyone else that was a little bit late and uh, thanked them for their messages. Many of them had very kind things to say about my YouTube channel and so forth, which I appreciate. And I sent a link to a place where they can find the ebook and a place where they could buy the book if they wanted to buy the book from Amazon. And I will leave those same links up here in the description. So as we approach uh, the holiday, you know, the, I think the thing about the holiday season and about language learning, because I always tie everything to language learning, is, you know, the opportunity to share things with others. I think that's, that's a wonderful thing that we can do and the thing about language learning is that it gives us the opportunity to share languages and thoughts and stuff with people all around the world who speak different languages, but who share this moment uh, on the planet with us. Because after all, the history of the world is in millions of years. And here are however many of us that are on the planet at this time. And the more languages we speak, the greater the opportunity to share things with other people. And sharing is a great feeling. You know, I play my old timers hockey. We had our, our last outing yesterday and then we went for our usual beer and everybody is very mellow. And then we all send each other uh, emails saying how much we enjoy doing this. And so those are moments that we share. Um, what else? Food, you know. Uh, my wife was out uh, doing her Christmas shopping today and she came home and said, my back is so sore, I don't want to cook. I said, okay, we're going to go out. So he went to the, there's a restaurant nearby at Horseshoe Bay, which is a beautiful location here in West Vancouver, uh, where the ferry boats leave to Vancouver Island. It's a spectacular scenery. And there's an Italian guy who bought a restaurant there, Danilo. And he was there and his mom and dad and sister were visiting from Calabria and they were all cooking and we had this absolutely fabulous meal. And they, because it's a one year anniversary, they had for 55 Canadian dollars, four course meal. And with each course you had a drink, you had a Prosecco to start with, you had a glass of red wine with each course, which was, they had a, I had this uh, plin, which was a kind of Piemontese ravioli with pork and beef and rabbit. And then we had, uh, I had a, uh, a slow uh, cooked pork and uh, my wife who, who only had one dish, like I had the whole schmear, but she had just the one dish. And then we kind of shared, sharing again. And she had duck and both of these dishes were excellent. And then it had some kind of a souffle dessert uh, with some amaretto. And I might just put some pictures up of this meal. So we were sharing the meal and then we spoke to Danilo. I went back into the kitchen and spoke to his family in Italian. The head waiter there is Portuguese. So we were chatting a bit about Portugal. And so we were sharing. And of course, on Saturday, uh, my son Mark and his family and perhaps uh, his mother-in-law will come over for dinner. So Carmen, my wife, is going to be preparing a dinner. But the plin were so good that we have ordered two or helpings of that as an hors d'oeuvre that we're going to have and share with the family on Saturday night. And then Sunday we go over to Mark's house for uh, Christmas uh, dinner. So all of this is about sharing. And I think the holiday season is uh, not so much about giving gifts, in my opinion, 
but it's about sharing each other, sharing time, sharing thoughts, sharing food. And so that's the kind of the season that we're heading into. And uh, so, um, yeah, I didn't talk too much about uh, language learning today, but uh, that just updates you on, on uh, the whole uh, free book issue. So thank you for listening and go out and share with your friends and loved ones during the holiday season. Bye for now.